Hi, I'm Jennifer, 46 years old, based out of Dallas, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. Thanks for coming down from Dallas. What do you do up there for a living? I am a commercial loan closer. Commercial loan closer. Wonderful. Well, we might be talking soon if I ever <laughs> get into that world. Hopefully at some point. I'm in the residential for now. But uh, how much are you making off of this position? My base salary is about a little over ninety five, ninety six. But with overtime, uh, this year I'm getting 130 <laughs> So people are closing on those commercial loans, huh? Yes. It's mainly corporations, like big corporations. I don't yeah. know if I can say them, but like, face, you know, all the big ones. Oh, sure. Yeah. So 130000 mm -hmm. is that the income for the household or is there a dual income household no, as well? No, just me. Okay. How do we feel? I mean, that's incredible. Thank you. That's incredible. <laughs> It confuses me how we're in so much <laughs> debt with that, but that is the American way. Yep. $130,000. Oh. Uh -huh. Someone over the age of 25 and high income. You've begged for it. And I don't have a bachelor's degree. Oh, that's awesome. So, wow. Okay, very cool. Yep. So. so, how do you feel living in Dallas? 130000 I mean, that's pretty killer. It is. It's from where I was, I just moved into a house. I was in an apartment, which was like seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800 a month, which mm -hmm. was great. Mm -hmm. But I've moved into a house, and it's the, the rent is a little bit higher. I oh, didn't okay. want to go higher. I wanted to go lower, but my kids needed a place to stay. They just moved kids? back. Two boys. How old? Um, 25 and 28. And they both live with you? They both live with me. They're families. Um, they do pay me rent. So I get seven hundred dollars a month from them. Also, combined seven hundred. No, fourteen hundred combined. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not insignificant. What's the total rent that you have to pay? Uh, twenty two oh nine. Okay, so I mean, it's not bad, but I. Well, I mean, with their fourteen hundred. Yeah, I w I wanted to go down to a one bedroom, paying like fourteen fifteen, so I can really start attacking. My debt and everything, but life happens. You said twenty two hundred, twenty two oh nine a month. And why didn't you move down specifically for them for to them. come back in? Well, they were we okay. They moved into my apartment. So yeah. I had a two bedroom apartment. They moved in and they were there for a couple of months. And I I asked them, "Are you able to move out? Because they're not." I know one son, my oldest son, he had lost his job and his girlfriend was mm. working. My Youngest son is getting in the process of getting a divorce. Mm. So they were like, no, not really. So I was like, okay, fine. So seven people in a two bedroom is not ideal. So I ended up renting the whoa, house. Whoa, whoa. Do, wait, seven people. Mm -hmm. Who are it, the others? Um, my oldest son, his girlfriend, their two kids. My okay, so son grandkids. Has, grand, I have grandkids. Okay. My youngest son has a uh, two year old. So. It was quite crowded. Okay, that became completely different than I was just picturing two people living there. Oh, no, 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 no. So the divorce person, is, the one who's going through divorce, mm -hmm. is it just like the litigation costs and everything like that or just taking away from them being able to live on their own? Or? Yeah, because his wife is still still in the apartment that they shared together. Oh, okay, so that and makes his, sense. His name was on the lease and he moved out. Mm. She moved someone in, so he had to move out. Mm. How long has he been with you? Since... December of last year. Oh, that's a long it time. It is a very long time. Yes. That, I feel like, okay, first of all, I mean, if you want him there, that's a completely different story. So that's like, I'm like, okay, sure, absolutely. If you're like, all right, it's time to get on your own. A year later at the age of either 25 or 28, whatever this one yeah, is. Yeah, he's the 25-year-old. Like, he could and yeah, I'm, should I'm trying, figure I'm it out. I'm trying to shove them all out because I, I really want to. I don't want to live where I live. I want to. I was living in the city, which I really like. Being single, mm. it was it was nice. I was around everything. Yeah. It was nice. Now I'm in the suburbs, and it takes me longer to get to work now. Um, I just sacrifice a lot for them. Yeah, in their situations. Yeah, and you know I can't fully judge their situation uh, here. Like I can't say that you know they're being either irresponsible or whatever without seeing everything they're doing, but. You've certainly sacrificed a lot for them. Um, but even still, though, your rent payment in terms of what you owe, 2209, I mean, 809 on $130,000 a year, there should be absolutely no reason why any debt exists. Why the no possible, reason. why the, why, why does the debt exist? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, I, uh, come no, on. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very, I'm serious. Like I have, mean? I don't have an excuse. Like I, I, I have one credit card that I pay off on a consistent basis and then I use it. And then I was, 
in the process of really, really paying it off before I moved. So I had like four credit cards paid off. And when this happened, it was just 800 bucks though. $130,000 a year. 800 bucks yeah. doesn't make a difference here. No, it doesn't. $130,000 a year. I can't, I can't even, I don't even know where it goes. Like, well, we did have what we consider necessary food purchases, i.e. grocery stores to be 2000 $898. Is that a month? Within the most recent month. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Really? Yeah, like what the possible... I'm even surprised. I didn't even know I was going to the grocery store that much. In the... Dude, $426 eating out. Extra miscellaneous bull... It's either like taquitos and bull... Like that, 460 bucks. Are you shopping for them? Grocery shopping for them? I probably was okay. grocery shopping for them. They're maybe. big boys. Yeah. I mean, they have kids. They've they've done adult things. Again, I'm good with you helping out. I'm good with you helping out. It sounds like you would rather them not live with you, not because you don't like them or anything, but because, you know, just like fly little birdies. Right. Uh, I don't know if we're... <laughs> I'm trying not to be an enabler. I well, really am with I, I did want to talk about that. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that, that after the debt, but... Go ahead and give yourself a score in zero to 10. Oh, probably about a two. I'd like to thank today's episode sponsor, Factor. The ultimate solution for those of us that are constantly on the go. Factor is a prepared meal delivery service offering a wide range of prepared meals, catering to various dietary preferences, including ketogenic, vegan, and vegetarian. With a rotating menu of over 35 meals each week, you can customize your plan to fit your needs. As someone with a busy lifestyle and also trying to lose weight, I've found Factor to be a lifesaver when it comes to my lunch and dinner needs. Factor's meals are able to be heated and ready to eat in just two minutes. By eliminating the need for grocery shopping, cooking, and meal planning, I freed myself from the stress that comes along with it, allowing me more time to focus on my passions and, well, lots of work. Factor meals arrive fresh, never frozen, and are dietitian approved, ensuring quality and healthfulness. The service provides flexibility to adjust order sizes, share with loved ones, or conveniently skip a week if needed. As we all kick off the new year, I'm sure, just like me, you're eager to start it off on the right note. Head to Factor75.com or click the link in the description below and use code HAMMER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's code HAMMER50 to get 50% off your first Factor box at the link in the description below. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this episode. Two. So let's start with the Quicksilver. Okay. Classic Quicksilver. $2,256. With a $75 minimum monthly payment, you made a minimum monthly payment, then $52 of interest accrued. So we only went from 2,279 to 2,256. So even though you paid $76, we only went down like $20, bucks, $30. Magic of interest. Yep. What is this card? Why is this card up to 2,256? Oh my gosh. You I don't have, have to give me excuses. That's what you said. But I need to at least know for how long has this been building up? That card has been probably at that balance for years. For, for years. For the, That's one of my oldest credit cards that I've had. The Capital One cards are the oldest cards that I have. Why are the balances this high for so long? I have no excuse. I really don't have. I don't have a single excuse. And the the thing about it is, I'm not. I'm even, not asking for. I don't even know where that card is. So people so. confuse excuses with uh, reasons. If your so excuse excuse is you trying to excuse this because mm -hmm. of the reason, I'm not. You're you're not necessarily trying to do that. I'm just trying to figure out the 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 actual. Uh, sorry, I am I, a swear word. Addict. I think that car stays high because it's on the it's on the list of being paid off and it's not at the front of the list. Like there's cards bef in front of that. Oh, then I'm going to have some major <laughs> problems with that as we go through this. Yeah, there are cards in front of that that need to be paid off before. Sure, but you're talking years. Yeah, years. years. Yeah. And you could be you could be withdrawing from your tax advantage retirement accounts in 15 years. 15 years. That's why I love to have someone 45. I mean, that's incredible. 46, sorry. It's incredible. 14, 14 and a half years. You could be withdrawing, Roth IRA, that kind of stuff. No penalties. We can't be headed into that. 
that decade before you're able to do that with this kind of debt. We can't. I know. That's scary. My heart absolutely sinks. I think about it a lot. Like what my, cause I'm closer to retirement than I am anything else. So I think about it like constantly. If and you I think really about it constantly, it then like, your actions should be showing that. Yeah. Like I really want to get rid of this debt. Like it's just, my student loans are gone. So that's a good thing. I love that you want to get rid of the debt. Years now though, yeah. you said yeah. you've had this. Yeah. And I've tried and then it's, it's, I've, Pay it off, and then I reuse it. Pay it off, reuse it. Pay, and then they then thank you. Then yes. they they increase the uh, credit limit, sure, and because, so then yeah. I said, okay, I'm not I'm not going to even touch it. And then I end up touching it, and it goes up, and it, it's just like a like a seesaw, up and down, up and down, up and down. Well, the reality is, um, no offense, uh, close it, close all the accounts, close them. I don't want you to have access to them. Bad. This equals bad. Yeah. Bad. Naughty. Naughty. We don't have these kind of cards. If we've gone through the cycle multiple times, we literally have proven to ourselves we are not a credit card person. You cannot use credit cards. Close them. Pay them off. Never again. It is okay. You might want to buy a house at some point. Well, see, that's okay. So that's another thing. I'm, yeah. I really am a credit card person. I went no, out. I, I am. You're I'm not. I'm going to tell you why. You know. I'm going to tell, tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. I bought a house in 2020. It was a condo. And I was working my job plus a job at Target. So I had two jobs and I was really working to pay it off. So this was 2020. So I had paid off the majority of the credit cards. Uh, the only majority. one left was my Discover card. I had $3,000 left on that Discover card. And so. Which means you're not a credit card person. So then after that, uh, I ended up moving in with somebody, selling my place. They didn't help me pay the bills like they were supposed to. So I ended up putting my mortgage on a credit card, everything else on credit card. Oh, you said you sold your place. I did sell it. But I was only there a year, so I didn't have enough equity in order you, to draw anything out. Uh, no, no. You, okay. So let's say you bought it for $400,000. You put 10% down, something like that. Uh, did you sell it for four hundred thousand dollars again, and then you know, like closing costs and yeah. seller fees and stuff like yeah. that? So you 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 lost. Yeah, basically. Uh, so fun fact, spoiler: alert, you're not a credit card person. But I I, I was at no. the point to where I was using them and paying them no. off a ASAP before this. You said even you dropped. had a balance of four thousand dollars. If you have a balance yeah, of four thousand, if you have a balance of four thousand dollars, we are not a credit card person because you have a balance. Balance and interest accruing equals. Eh. But I can't was use credit really cards. working to pay those off, like really working, like my heart. If you're working to pay them off, the hardest we are not a credit card person. They are they a credit card person equals zero dollar of interest gotcha. ever accrued in a year, never holding a balance. Fun fact, and it's really not so fun. Total interest charged on this year so far five hundred ninety eight dollars. Not a credit card person. A lot. I don't even want to get into that Discover card. Well, we're getting into the city, of which we owe uh, now. Th oh my gosh, three thousand! These balances are too high, man. You're not. You're high. not late in life. You're middle in life. Yeah. But where you are, I don't want you to be headed into that period with these deaths. This is scary. Okay, we made one hundred twenty two. Well, one hundred twenty dollar minimum monthly, pay uh, monthly payment, yeah. which was more than the minimum, so that's good. But then you purchased seven hundred ten dollars, and she. You say you're a credit card person. Not that recently. No, I'm not a credit card person now. All it takes is one time not to be. <laughs> 42. Interest is. This is my least favorite thing that I ever yeah, seen. Yeah, interest is just. Like, no, if interest is accruing on a card, why are we possibly purchasing on it? If we cannot pay it off and interest is accruing, why are we possibly purchasing? I don't even know what's on that. I hate that card with a passion. I don't even know what's well, on Well, you that. certainly love to swipe it. $3,506. Dude. What's on that card? I, I don't have my glass oh, and I can't see. I want to give you a hug and uh, root for you, but I got to rip you apart first and just show you how bad this is. This is the part of Kitchen Nightmares where I show you the old moldy food and vomit. And this is going to make me vomit. We're paying our afterpay twice on a credit card? Afterpay? Best Buy something. Or you got something at Best Buy. What is it? What are consulting? What kind of consulting are you paying for? Home goods? That's usually oh, no, no, necessary. no. Oh, I have a uh, side business. I'm a travel agent on the side. So my monthly fee for my travel agent comes out of how on that comes car. how much do you earn from that about five thousand a year is that on top of the 130 mm -hmm. so you make 135 yes a year. okay well miss travel agent did you travel with an uber and then an uber again no no that's for my mother what she needed uber to the airport so i paid for her uber 
but you're paying on it. You make $130,000 a year. You're paying on a card that you can't, that you're not paying off and interest is accruing. Pay on it for a checking account. $466 of interest this year so far and fees of $6 lost. So we could do after pay and after pay and Best Buy and Home Goods. Those things, whatever you're using after pay, is not more important than you being able to retire. Right. It is not. You are too damn important. You're a human being on this planet. You deserve to actually get your sh together and live the life that would be amazing. All right. This is the card you didn't want to talk about, right? Yeah, that's the card. Uh, 8000 $858.04 of death. You did it again. I know. What, what are we doing here? $20 of purchases. Sure, you made the minimum monthly payment, which was more than that, but we're purchasing on a card that we're losing $138 of interest on a monthly basis. Minimum monthly payments, $178. We went and purchased 20 bucks. What did we possibly purchase? What did we purchase? What did we purchase? What Amazon. Amazon? Amazon. Great. If I purchased anything from Amazon, I had to have needed it. Because I don't really... I'm kind of an Amazon Let me person. see your like, Amazon. My, like my yeah? thing? Yeah, pull up your app. Let's see these necessities. And while she's looking for these necessities make sure you hit subscribe because we're trying to get to a million subscribers and i love you all so much everyone who subscribed thank you so much for supporting the idea of living a good financial future thanks for you for being on the show thank you being in the hot seat dryer cord okay i can see that I, what ultra light small compact uh like table thing Camping side table. Oh, no, 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 no. I needed that for when I travel needed. for work. Needed. Um, my laptop and my, um, uh, my all this stuff goes on top of that table. Toothbrush, okay. USB-C, okay. Adjustable tablet stand? Yeah, for the new tablet that I had bought. Well, so your casual dress? I mean, I, don't, I'm, I, haven't gone, I haven't gone through your clothes. I don't, I don't know what you have and don't have. And there's the portable monitor we have. It's like we're justifying a lot of things. Another fall, women's, winter thing. A, a big, a nice lunch bag. Nice lunch bag. And that's it. I go, okay. I can see you justifying some of those. Obviously, the toothbrush, okay, yeah, sure. I can see you trying to justify some of those. One, with, if they're considered 100% necessities, I do not know. Well, the dress, no. But the stuff I needed for work when I travel and stuff. And the I other clothing work. thing. The sweater. I'm sure you're hitting the town, looking great in that dress. <laughs> Thank <But> you. <laughs> let's look great after debt. I know. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm here with you. So. Now everyone looks brighter and happier after debt. It anyway, really do. So. I've seen people. Like, my best friend is, has no debt, and she's just... Amazing. Amazing. She, her car is paid off. Her house is paid off. Her Look credit cards are paid off. And it's, it's incredible. Yeah. I want to I wanna get to that point. Should be you. It should be me. Let's get you Should have been me a long time ago. <sighs> At least this one's not in carrying interest, but you spent $957 on this. Is this the card that you pay off all the time? Yes. Yeah, that's the... TJ Maxx. Yeah, necessity. No, uh, no necessity. Some food, wine, Capital One Lounge we're spending in there. Hollywood Sweet Hollywood. Oh, I used that card. I went out of town in... October and I used that card to pay for the hotel. Voucher Brothers and Taco Joint and Amazon and Royal Caribbean Cruise. That way you weren't you weren't selling whatever you're selling on. Uh, no, that's me. Royal that, Caribbean. That's, that's me. Mm -hmm. That's me. And some plane tickets and some pho. I love me some pho. pho. How about get the fuck out of debt? Sixty-eight. But, but, but you you pay this off every month. But we've had fifty-four dollars of fees and sixty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents of interest this year so far. In fees. I don't know what that fee is. Uh, well, what Quicksilver card is it? It might just have an annual fee. Is it fee. the Quick? Is it, it, oh, yeah, that no, card has an annual no, 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 fee. Just, uh, it has a, um, it has like a some type of weird annual fee. Well, that's fine, but the interest. Yeah. The interest. Yeah, the interest is worse than the fee, so. Well, yeah. You say you pay this off every month. $70 of interest. Not a credit card person. Wow, there are so many things to go through. Okay. NFM card? What the f*** is that? I've never that heard is, of that uh, in my life. That is Nebraska Furniture Mart. Um, I mean, I did 0% on uh, Ashley Home. Yeah, I get 0% on that. If you pay it off if a I certain amount of time. The first one I did, this is the second go around with them. I needed furniture since we just moved. Uh, I bought the kids a bunk bed. 
Mm. Uh, my son a bed. Kids a bunk? You got my grandkids? grandkids, yeah. I bought them a bunk bed. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I like this situation. You're being an awesome mom and grandma, and I love that. I love that. But also, care about you, and you're the one that's sitting here. So I'm going to focus on improving you. Damn, I know, that has to be so hard. Okay, 1524 What's the minimum monthly payment on this in order to pay it off by the time interest that, is accruing? This one, I just put that on there, so it doesn't have one yet. I haven't gotten a statement from there. Like, I just put when that on When does there. interest start accruing? It, for, like, 24 months, I think. Okay, we're paying, in order to avoid interest, $63.50 a month. Cool. Cool. Now I'm good with zero percent financing things. I don't think you fall in the category as someone who can do that very well. I did it. The, I did. I did it the first time when I first moved to my apartment. I needed a couch and some other things, and I paid it off like within six months. Okay. So I'm very confident since that's like zero. I'm the credit card scare me. Yeah. But okay. Oh, all right. We're back to the. the I can't even. What, what is this? That's gap. Oh, that's gap. Oh yeah. my God. It looks like goop. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks bad. Yeah, it's like it's my gap card. Okay. Gap. We owe 2400 For Gap? Yeah. For f- Gap? That you car, owe that, And that car was paid off. It's the cheapest like place it, that ever exists anyway. It was paid off. It was paid off? When was it paid off? It was paid. I paid that card off in September. And then I put. It was like a month ago. Yeah. I paid that card off in September. And we're up to $2,400? I put the. Wow. That's I, a lot of. F- Gap. No, I didn't even go to Gap. That's for the house, like for the moving, like for the um, deposits, the first month's rent. You make too much money to do that. You make too much money. $209 for purchases. And we're losing $57.84 yeah. of interest. And of course, we're only making minimum monthly payment. And yet, we're still putting more money on it. Yeah, Tom Thumb, McDo- yeah, McDonald's for a move. Tom Thumb. Seafood? That's a move. Wingstop? That's a move. Oh, that must not be Tom my Tom? new statement. That must be the old statement. So yeah, oh, that's gonna that one was paid off. Three hundred twenty-three dollars of interest stolen from our lives this year so far, and it's a thirty percent interest. I owe, I make too much money, so I owe them every single year. Every single. So year. we pay them. I I'm I'm on the monthly payment plan. Yeah, you are. Why don't we just pay them? Because I had just paid off last year, and then I had to file for this year. And who and are we talking about? Everyone's favorite department. The IRS. Yeah. <laughs> of which we owe $1,955 to, 56 cents. Oh, man. And I've been paying on this loan, well, this since, uh, I think, July. What's the interest? <sighs> you did not sign up for something and not know the interest, did you? No, I can't remember how much interest uh, is with them. Half percent monthly penalty for not paying the tax you owe by the due date. Uh, which is 60 bucks. Failure to pay, but that's your failure to pay. Mm. Over the it term started, of what, it started out. It month? started out at 2000 and something, and I pay, the mo- I pay 246 monthly. This is 2022. Yeah, that's for last year's okay. taxes. Okay. Are you ready for this year's taxes? No, all right. Well, you know what? I have. I I got smarter this year. I'm taking um, a little bit more. I'm having my job withhold a little bit more out of my check mm-hmm. for the taxes, so it won't be so bad when I. Um, you know, you can withhold from yourself though, and put in like a high yield savings account, like SoFi, and get four point six percent. That's better. That just requires discipline and maturity. Yeah. Two hundred forty-six dollar minimum monthly payment. Okay, Honda. What do we have? What's our car? It's a 2018 Honda CRV. You love it? I do. $27,937.66. I do not see an interest rate. What is it? 5.5. Okay. Not death. Not death. With depreciation and everything, especially after the time you probably bought this. Still not thrilling. But oh, $571 minimum monthly payment kind of hurts because the payment, 2028, it's going to take a f- five more years. Oh, four. Basically, this year's done. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't like the long terms. 20% down. No more than 8% of your income. And no payoff longer than three years is the rule. It's the money guy rule that I have stolen <laughs> for cars. 
Well, that's my last car. Once that car is paid off, like I'm done with cars. I'm tired. Well, of you might have to get another car at some point. I'll probably if I when I pay off my debt and have savings, I want to get a cash car and just drive around in a cash. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. I'm done with car notes after this car. It's more furniture. It's yeah. Nebraska. Yeah. You're making furniture in Nebraska. Um, that one is probably for my mother. I bought her a couch and she's going to pay me back. Family debts. Yeah. Never a good idea. Okay. Let's talk about her for a second. Again, this is not an order on her, but let's just get a full rounded situation. Uh, age and income situation and retirement. She is, I believe she's in her sixties. Um, she retired, but she had to come back. She has, like, no savings, nothing. She's selling the house and moving into a retirement community. She um, can afford that? Social Security? Medicaid? She still work, she's account. still working. And then I think she's going to collect Social Security at some point. She hasn't started? I don't think so. At least I don't, I don't know. I try I not to get into her is. finances. Oh, but, um, well, well, I would say, I would say, good. Maybe a daughter shouldn't get into her parents' finances for buying her furniture because she can't afford it. That's a different right. conversation. So she says, this is what she told me when she sells the house and gets the proceeds from the house and she's going to pay off this card. And it sounds like this house has so much trustworthy financial backing behind it, doesn't it? Historically. I'm just, I'm just hoping things will change. So. Listen, you're nice. You have a wonderful heart. Thank I you. love it. It's incredible. I just don't want you to get. So... That was just recently that I purchased Is this also interest-free? Yes. And for how many months? The same 24 months. Okay. So she's in the community now? She and just moved in the community and is in the process of selling the house. Maybe she needs an audit. $22.68 a month. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yep. How are you doing so far? I know this is a lot. I'm, I knew it would be a mess. I know it's a mess. I know, I know it's a mess, so... Yeah. Valero card? Yep, my gas card. My trusty gas card. And it looks like you did gas, but you paid it off. Mm -hmm. Yes. Kay. I pay that off every single month. But I think that's it. I think that's the end of the cards. It should be a... I have a couple of more cards. should be an American Express card in there somewhere. We're taking a look, seeing if we missed something. I don't think we did, but... American Express? Yes. While we look for that, tell me about this. What is this cruise line bull... What's going on here? What the oh, this... This. No, this is actually good. This is my earnings from my travel business. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was just like you spending. So you sell Carnival Cruise Line. I sell everything. Everything. And then you go take a Carnival Cruise Line. I okay, My passion is traveling. I have so much going on with my family and my life. I love to travel. So most of my money goes to traveling. Well, the majority of my money goes to traveling. But I also sell We need to get out of debt first. Oh, I'm sorry. I know. It's a I temporary know. thing because we can I travel know. much more when we're out of debt. I know. Well, while actually paying for it, not going into debt. We do not have those cards. If you want to pull up your apps, that would be great. There's always hidden debt. And trust me, we thought we had all of it. I, th I thought you, that I was sent them all. So this is... My Amex. No, it's not. That is my Amex. What are you doing? It's my Amex. Buddy, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine debts now. We can't be going into our 50s with nine debts. Four more years, but. Yeah. You know, round I, I hope to be out of this within a year or two is my plan. Well, how was your plan to get there? Because you've had the debts forever and you haven't yeah. done anything about I, it. Um, I'm using two apps. And I have a financial coach that I go to now. Really? Yeah, I'm using the app Undebted. So you put all your um, bills, all your debts in this app. It tells you how much to pay on each one every month, and it tells you how long it will take you for, to get debt-free. Okay. So I'm using that. And according to them, I should be debt-free in like a year and a couple of months, minus my car because I didn't add my car. It requires a lot of discipline if you follow it. So in order to build the budget, what we're going to do is we're putting you through our budgeting program. Um, it's like the best budgeting program that exists online that we could find. Uh, go through that. Go through the few hours of classes. Take the quizzes. Make sure you're actually learning things. And then we also have a debt payoff thing. Uh, and we're um, updating it, too, to make it even better as it goes and goes. And it will plug in, like, with your budget and everything combined. Like, we can make sure you're actually getting to the place you want to get to. Okay. You're a hundred and thirty nine dollars from the limit of this card. And I what the f uh, did I I need to make a payment on that card actually. 
this month. Interest fifty nine dollars and four cents. There's no minimums left this month. It looks like. But what I am trying to figure out is what the normal minimum is. It's $84 a month. Okay. These are stacking up. I would like to see your purchases. How do I get there? Oh, sorry. Um, Go ahead. Let me see. Under Armour. And paying for things at the airport. And electricity. Yeah, but that's not bad. Oh, I wouldn't put it on a card that's maxed out, but yeah. at least it's not a purchase that needs to be like. You have other debt? I have a venture card. Let's get on to the 10th debt. Venture. You know, the app you're using and the program you're using relies on you not spending the money that you're spending. It does. Right I, now, right? I always There's have no to go in and update the amounts when I actually do spend on the cards. So, Which we're It's defeating the doing. purpose, yeah. I don't know who this coach is, but... Uh, please don't be a big bounce. Please don't be a big bounce. Okay. What the? F but that's all spent. That's what you just spent. You spend more money than the money we have you spending. An extra two. Th Did you pay this off? No. Mm -hmm. No. 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 Mm -hmm. What the? F we possibly buy what did we possibly buy what did we what is it cafe and rent you put your rent on this yeah i did first of all you're gonna you know you're gonna lose like fees and putting rent on a credit card well that credit card has no it's zero percent zero percent what oh okay yeah. great still fees can hit though let me try to find any fees i'm not seeing any uh sometimes like the charge of rent can be more on credit cards though it is it is like $50? You put, dude, you make too much money $50. and your rent is so minimal. Even if the rent was the 2000 whatever, that's comfortably fits in your income. Yeah. But it's really $800 because your kid... Then we had to get Cajun. We had to get Cajun. Okay. Any other debt? Uh, I have uh, a payday loan. You do not. I do. You're it's, it's, with not, me. it's not mine. It's not mine, but I'm paying whoa, 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 for whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No. It's not mine, but Who's I'm paying... It? It's my brother's. Oh, he we we went out of town and when we came back, he had wrecked my niece's car and he didn't have any money to get it fixed. So I helped him get the money you to didn't pay have the any car. Insurance under his name? Uh, no, because he lives in New York, so he doesn't he doesn't have a car or anything like that. Why are you paying for it? What does he do? He lives in New York. What is he doing for a living? He's an aspiring actor, so he's a waiter. Oh, so he's around and you're having to pay for it well not really he just came off tour and when i talked to him about it he thought i was taking the money out of his account because he's on one of my accounts and to pay off the loan and i told him no because you can barely pay the, your half of the phone bill His so, half of the phone bill yeah we're on the same he's what on my plan this? he's on my plan with me because you're in your 40s <laughs> we're not doing that oh. I have a problem. I help people. It's, you do. I do. And again, I love that about you. You're just f***ing yourself. What is this pay? What 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 is this payday loan? How much is it? Um. Much is it? Uh, you shouldn't be paying for this. To be very clear, his f***ing responsibility. He he's gonna pay you back. Okay. He's gonna pay you back. Yeah. 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 When I talked to him about it, he was like, when he gets a, a better job, then I can start taking it out of his account. It's at thirty five percent. Okay, it's better than most. Yeah, payday most payday loans, yeah. It. It's still death insanity, crazy, worse than credit cards. Oh, no. Oh, I think I have the current balance on there. Uh, not on there. That's just the original document. Oh. Get the current balance. I don't want you. Okay. The one thing the I don't balance. want you to become is a <laughs> Please don't become a I'm trying not You're to be. You're breaking, like, all the rules. I'm in the sorry. Back on the I know. Please don't. Oh. That's the current balance on that one. Okay. Actually, Saying it and seeing them in like like this, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> oh, it looks really bad. Does it? It looks really, really bad. Hmm. It looks really bad. Interesting. It's almost like this show works its intended purpose. Hundred hundred twenty eight dollar minimum monthly payment. And oh no, that's every two weeks. <laughs> that's every two weeks. Two thousand eight hundred five balance. Okay, 128, 
$257.84. Checking account? Checking account. Checking account. Nothing in savings. Okay, awesome. $44. And this is the little roundup stuff that you do. Yeah. Now, let's see. You asked for my heart rate. I'll give you a heart rate monitor because I feel like I'm dying right now. This is dead. Yeah, let's see. Heart rate current monitor sits at <laughs> 113. You got me to 113. Oh, wow. That's high. Well, mine's probably higher than yours, so. We started with $2,300. We ended with $928. That's not great. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I'll make sure there's no personal information. Okay, there's not. Pink equals oh. The other things equal necessity. Mm. Mm. If we don't have money, if we can't even pay the minimum, if we can't even pay off our debts early, should we have this high of a percentage of bull? No. Marble slab. Uh uh-uh. uh. Fishing. Uh uh-uh. uh. McDonald's dart. Oh, I rode the train to the state fair. Choo choo. No. To the train. Well, it was cheaper to ride the train than it is to park. Okay. Well, never mind. It thank works. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but also, don't go to the state fair. <laughs> you don't. You can't afford to live. I got a free <laughs> ticket. And then you spent money to use it. True. True. Some Something in a plaza, sending out money, cash app, more Spirit Airlines, Golden Chick, Thai. Love me some Thai. I love Thai. Mm-mm, no, you don't. Not anymore. You hate it. Tom Thumb, Tom Thumb. You go to Tom Thumb every second of your life. Shop Fund, Tiquitos, Tom Thumb, Biscuits, Panda Express, Apple, Bill, uh, NNT, Cindy's, Raisin Cane's. No, well, this I think this calendar budget thing actually makes sense. So we can do that. That that obviously makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, I used Thumb, that to keep track of my budget. Do you use Tom Thumb to keep track of your budget or no, to ruin the, your budget? The, the, the that's the grocery store. Like that Tom Thumb Tom Thumb, yeah. It's like an Albertsons. It feet? It's like an Albertsons. Shoes. Um, okay. Yeah, something. It used to be oh, right well next that, door to my that, apartment. That's, that's why 2,900. Probably, yeah. Spotify, we can listen to ads while we're trying to get out of debt. Series XM, no one even uses that anyway. Don't know why you have it. Afterpay, what are we afterpaying? We were already doing all the other <laughs> but spending on our credit card. Louisiana, Famous Fried, Dallas, and Chick-fil-A. And then Roundups, Transfers, blah, blah, blah. Zells, all the good stuff. Lots of Zells, lots of Zells. Zell in every second of our life. Emergency fund, two hundred sixty-two dollars. So yeah, let's not go to the state fair where we spend more money. If we don't even have even close to a fraction of a percentage of a small part of an emergency fund, vacation, vacation debit, vacation, vacation. No, I, I, don't, I got. You're those. not going to escape your debt by flying away. <laughs> it's not how that works. <laughs> okay, now this. You know, if we were not 46, I'd be happy about one hundred four, one hundred fourteen thousand dollars in retirement. This shows you've at least, you know, you've you've done. You know, no, what am I trying to say? I've lost my mind at this point. This shows that you've outstanding loans. Are you borrowing against this? I did it once. I needed furniture when I first bought my place in twenty twenty. Uh, so I have. But loans you still to owe seven. Th- I still owe on those loans. Yeah. I didn't catch this when we were going through it before. I forgot all about them. They just come out of my check and it's just... $7,778.37. I don't know what the interest rate is because I did not catch it. It's like 4.5. That's still money. I don't know what the minimum monthly payment is either. So the Bank of America 401k plan, uh, uh, VESA balance, $107,000, which I like. Um, This says... $122,000. Hundred twenty two thousand. Yeah, that's my current balance. Okay. So good. Uh yeah, the market's had a big just whoosh, upswing recently headed into this, so that makes sense. Listen, this is this is not a bad balance as far as balances go. I think the average retiree, average, not median, median's obviously worse, but average being carried by wealthy individuals mostly have an average of ah sh time I had like three hundred thousand dollars in these types. Heading into retirement, and you'd be right around then, you know, if we consider it doubling every seven, eight years or so. Yeah, it got my, my, um, the percentage that I invest every year go, goes up 1% every year. So I'm at what seven. Are you at right I'm now? at seven. Yeah, these so market really returns are not beating the, you know, 35% of the payday the loan. They're not beating the, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Mathematically, it's not making sense right now. We, unless you're getting a match, I would be doing 0%. Yeah, they match 100% Ooh. up to my oh, job. Oh, yeah. Up to, Five, five percent. Well, I would take that, and then I would negate the other two for now. 
And then I'd max it out eventually. But to be clear, again, this number, I think we're going along with average. You're still behind where I'd want you to be for the retirement that I know you're going to want to live, especially your traveling right. enjoyment. So that's still dramatically behind where I'd want you to be. But I am glad you got there because I could be talking to someone 46 with zero, zero retirement, price, right? So. Well, I should have looked at the minimum monthly payment. It's taken from your pay, though, before yeah, it hits? Yeah, after taxes. Okay. So it's we'll, like two, like $200. And we don't have to put that in the budget anyway, but we'll put the payoff. Mm. Okay. Either way, I mean, you have like a, what, 120 in there, but your debt is closer to uh, with the new debt that we now know you have. Almost $60,000 of bad debt. There's nothing there working for your benefit. There's no like real estate or anything. So no. this is all just sh It's all just sh It was higher than that with my student loans, but they were forgiven. So they were like 55000 Now I can just focus on the credit card, which are pretty bad. Now that I see them written out. 4.5% of your spending went to paying off debt. But again... Grocery? It was like twenty. I cannot believe I was spending that much money on groceries. Welcome to reality. 4.5 was to debt, but 4.2 went to eating out. Or sorry, 4.6 went to like unnecessary b that wasn't eating out, just extra unnecessary b Things like uh, other large purchases like Spirit Airlines, Royal Caribbean Cl Cruise, and Best Buy came out to an additional 4.4%. So by now, you could have uh, basically 4 x yeah, 4x. Uh, how much money you put towards your debt? You could have, but you're choosing. But then we also had, let's see, unknown shopping. Let's see where that went. Usually that stuff like Amazon. Yep, Amazon. Apple, we don't know where that is. Usually it's in Amazon. There's your consulting thing. That's business. We can hopefully write that off. Afterpay. Oh, the afterpay was the big chunk in there. Walmart and Target. You never know exactly what that is. If that's more grocery, that's not necessarily good because no. we already spent so much. So that's an additional f uh, four. 4.4%. Four four, oh, no, no, no. 6%. 6%. So this is not, include, not including groceries. With unknown shopping, food, that's 10. And then 15 with miscellaneous. Uh, round it to 20 with the other large purchases. 20% of our spending. 20% of spending that went to nothing productive that could have gone towards the debt when you only put 4.5% of your spending towards debt. That's your future. That's your future that you chose to say, nope. Not taking take neck not taking care of my I'm just gonna spend money on living life around instead of actually taking care and doing now transportation this is expensive with the car insurance and the car payment and tolls and then the dart thing and then ubering and then gas that came out to eleven point two percent or a thousand one hundred thirty dollars total well the I just talked to my insurance and had my insurance lowered so that's Good. going that's going from two forty six to well, I, I paid one one seventy one. You paying for two people's insurances? No, just one. One my um. We had two forty six. It's um. Oh, either way, what is it now? It's one fifty. Okay. All right. You're gonna go through the program and you're gonna make an actual concrete budget that applies to your situation and all that education will help you. But obviously, we only have limited time here. Right. We're gonna do a uh, a loosey goosey budget to give you a concept of where we could go, what direction we should go towards, what we should do in order to get us in the place. We're out of debt after how long? Rent, $2,209. Mm -hmm. yes. Utilities. Um, I budget $150 for electricity, mm -hmm. about $100 a month for water. I think that's it. What about internet? Oh, uh, internet is one fifty a month. What about gas? No gas. Okay. It's electric heating? Yes. Ooh, that can be expensive. I turn it off a lot. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Get some blankets. Uh, looks like we go to the gym, 24 yes. Totally supportive. That's I what I need to be doing. I just lost like 50 pounds. Mm. Come on. Thank you. So. It's incredible. Got to get that cruise body, right? Exactly. And I'm going, <laughs> yeah, going on a cruise in December. You are not. <laughs> no, you're not. I am. I just what is this, a joke? It. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Are you serious about that? So you're not serious about your future. I'm very serious. Because here's the thing. I have to go. Like, I have to go. Like, if I don't go. What like, the f it's, well, that I'm is, disgusted right now. That is what just. What do you mean? I just. I can't i i can't i have to go it's already paid for it's already paid for it's already paid for refund 
can you? No, it's too late. We leave Is in it? a couple of weeks. Who's we? Me and my fr- it's okay. I'm on a third wheel type of thing. My friends like to travel with me, but they like to travel with their significant others, and I don't have one, and they still want me to go. So it's my two friends, their husbands, and me, and it's on a cruise. And I've never been on Royal Caribbean, so it's kind of like research. Oh, and f- off. at the f- off. F- off. So talk to the CPA, see if you can write it off. But f- off. So yeah, what did you spend on this? I spent about I spent twelve hundred. Oh, and I took I took it out of my budget. Oh, uh, what so, budget? There's no budget. No, no, no. It did, it didn't come off of credit cards. It came no, off of no, no, no. It did. No, you know just why? One, no, 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 just one, no, no, just one, no, 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 no. You know why it did? You know why it did go to your credit cards? Because you didn't pay any extra on your credit cards, and your credit cards weren't paid off. And if your credit cards weren't paid off, and you were doing this extra thing, that means the money that should have been going to the credit cards was not put to the credit cards, so it went to the credit cards. That is true. That is true. That is true. I don't even want to finish this. We're putting a cruise. O- That's very disappointing. I didn't put a cruise on my credit card. Are you saying I'm putting a cruise before? Over your future. future. Okay. Okay. <sighs> but I used the money from my travel agent to pay for it. My travel agency to pay for it when I got a commission check. Doesn't make it better, but. Where could that commission check have gone? Some of it does go to. Where could that entire commission card. check have gone? To yes. credit cards, to my debt. Don't try to justify it. Nah. You're going to ruin me. How are we doing groceries of this house? Okay, so now that we have moved, my oldest and his girlfriend are doing groceries. I don't pay for groceries anymore. At all? Any? None. Okay. None. Good. I understand the divorce one. Going through a divorce, why the f are they still there? They're still there because my son got a job, but she lost her job. And okay. they have two kids. So they need like a two-bedroom or whatever. They don't have an emergency fund, do they? No, they don't have anything. Now I have an emergency fund as an emergency, and then you move back in with your parents. Yeah. I'd get on there and be like, yo, let's save up an emergency fund. I had thought about the money that they give me, not actually using it towards anything, but just keeping it. And then saving it up and then giving it to them so they'll have enough money to move. I'm no, they're torn. adults. They're adults. They're adults. I would say yes as a as a caring person. Absolutely do it. If we were not just drowning in 35% at our peak debt. No, we're not doing that. Unfortunately, we're just not. Okay. I'm sorry. We're just not. Okay, I'm giving you like 100 bucks for makeup and called Toilet oh, Paper that. Fund. You're welcome. Thank you. I already paid for the cruise. Got to look pretty. <laughs> Ongoing medical prescriptions, anything? Um, they're all paid. For? They're all paid for. My prescriptions okay. are paid for. Every now and then, I go to the doctor and I pay like a copay, um, or I pay like when they take lab tests, and then I have to pay whatever my insurance doesn't pay. So every now and then, maybe it's like fifty dollars every six months or something when I go to the doctor okay. for the lab test. Okay, gas. We had about one hundred twelve. That sounds reasonable. Yes. Yes. No more Ubering, no I more don't, tolls. I don't Uber. Those are, I told you, those are for my no stepmother. More tolls. I moved away from the toll road, so now I, I don't um, take any tolls. Because I used to live off the tollway. Car insurance is now 150 Phone bill? Your portion? 135 The other portion is paid? The other portion is I take from my brother's account and pay his portion. Never any issues with that? It's always no, I always, I always take it out. So he, he doesn't even know I take it. I just snatch it. Can you uh, can you snatch the two fifty seven for the payday loan? If he has enough money in there, he told me I could snatch it. So he's I think he just got another job. He's just waiting to get paid. So he says once he has enough, then I can start snatching that too. I'm not gonna put that in. The, wait, 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 wait. Did you take it out? Is it in your name? Yeah, he. My, my, uh, where I no no uh, the the payday loan. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's in my name. It's in my name because <sighs> at the time he didn't have a job. Oh. Now having an emergency fund is an emergency. Okay, 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 um, okay. What else do we need to survive? What else? Where, where are we at? Okay, you have rent, utility, gym, <laughs> toilet paper, uh, gas, car insurance, phone, rent is insurance, 20 bucks? Uh, no, I paid that $75 a year, so I've already paid that. Oh, okay. uh, it's not even worth putting in. Okay. Anything else? That it's required for you to survive. No. No. 
I don't really go out. I don't do too much. So put in an extra thirty bucks for car maintenance. oil changes goes to fixing getting a tire and all that stuff when it needs to happen well, let's figure out these debt minimum monthly payments because i'm about to drown in numbers death numbers of of kill me well you are a brave aren't you? very brave i respect that very brave i think my brother is the only person that knows that i'm doing this i didn't tell anybody you're a bad <laughs> no you're truly a bad Cause I know I'm very tough. I can take it. I'm I'm tough. So so without the payday loan, of which I, I uh, it's in your name, so we have to we, we have to do it. I, mean, I have to put it in in your name. Okay, so debt, and this is the insanity part. One hundred one thousand <laughs> six hundred eighty two dollars and fifty six cents a month. So necessary minimum in order to survive. This is not calculating them paying you rent, but necessary for you to survive. Four thousand eight hundred forty-three dollars and fifty-two cents a month. Yeah. Oh, okay. Total income that came in was five thousand six hundred ninety-nine. Does that sound about right? Uh, yeah, it depends on overtime, so it can go up and down. What would you say is the average that hits your account on a monthly basis? Average? Probably about I I average about fifty fifty-six, so that's about right. Okay. Yeah, I get a raise. In a couple of months and a bonus. Good. So, all goes towards debt. debt. Yeah, that's that. This is insane. You make too much money. Your budget's overblown because you're trying to help everyone. You're trying to do everything. Seven hundred fifty-six dollars is not what should be left over on a monthly basis. I mean, just to get a one-month emergency fund, and this is crazy. Mm -hmm. our, usually, our first step in paying off the debt process is get a one-month emergency fund. That takes six and a half months. That's a step one. Wow. That's, and you make way too much money for that to be a thing. Obviously, a bonus will get us there quicker. Obviously, a raise will get us there quicker. More commissions will get us there quicker. Right. I do have commissions coming in. So. Good. Yeah. But if we're still averaging at that number, oh, man, we're, we're already at an hour. So this, I, 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 I'd go on and talk to you forever, but I'm just trying to think. Okay, the reality, we said about $60,000. So include the one month emergency fund in that. Actually, let's include, let's include a six month emergency fund total that you'd save up afterwards, which four eight four four minus the debt payments, which we wouldn't have anymore, gives you a monthly necessity three thousand one hundred sixty two dollars. Times that by six, is uh, you, know, you need a nineteen thousand dollars six month emergency fund, plus that by the sixty thousand dollars of debt you have. Okay, so you need seventy nine thousand dollars is Back to just like step zero of financial, like being okay. Mm -hmm. Divide that by the seven hundred fifty six dollars we have a month extra. Takes one hundred and four and a half months. Oh. oh gosh, okay. That's a couple months. That's a couple months. Okay. Basically nine years. Now, something that changes this situation. You collect fourteen hundred in rent. Yes. So what we can do now? This we want to be a temporary thing. Yes. Very much so. But you might not have the option for it to be a temporary thing. You actually might need to house hack with them for a bit. Really? As long as you're not giving them extra shit. No. Them helping you pay rent might be like, this adds 14, this brings you to an extra $2,156 a month. Now, I don't think you're going to be able to keep that the entire way, but what did, what did we say? You needed $80,000? Is that what we said? Yeah. 79000 79. Okay, so divide that by 2156 36 months versus 100 whatever months. Okay, 36 is a whole lot better. Right? <laughs> what are, three it's a years. whole lot better. <laughs> three years. Three years. Three years with them paying you, though. I don't think they're going to live there for three years. No. Unless they're probably. just, like, lazy. But I, I'm not going to take any assumptions. No, probably so not. So that becomes very hard for me. Now, what that doesn't include is if you pay off a debt, the minimum monthly payment is going to go away for that and you put it towards the other debt, but it also is not including any interest that's going to accrue. So right. I'm essentially allowing that to offset it itself. What? Because so I am, since, since the whole house situation is kind of like clearing and everything is getting settled, so I have started back paying off. So the, the capital one will be paid off. I'm putting more towards the IRS um, yeah. next month. So I'm um, in the process of going back. Um, and starting back paying off my debts. I couldn't figure out what the IRS interest was. What I would do, since that's already been negotiated, 
you're already having more withholdings from your account. First of all, sit, sit down as a CPA, see if you can write off anything from your extra five thousand dollars. You know, but whatever. What I would do, the like high priority things I would take advantage of now, is get to that one month emergency fund, which you'll be able to get to in a couple months with the rent they give you, right? Uh, because of that. So as long as they live with you, we're throwing this 2156 towards the debt. We're not having you paid for fun. You're going on this cruise. That's going to be the last time you do that for a few years. Before you do anything that's paid for, you're going to go to a park or your friends are going to pay for things. Or you're going to get some, you know, gorgeous person to take you on dates in downtown Dallas. You know, take you to those expensive steak nights. So that's an option. You're not paying for it. <laughs> oh, I guess. Okay, never mind. Well, <laughs> I wish it was, but it's not. So. The kids will take you then. <laughs> so I need you to get that one month emergency fund first and foremost. I'm doing smallest to largest snowball on this because you just have so many debts that you chipping away at the minimum monthly payments is going to help. Technically, the avalanche still saves more money over time, but you're going to see more progress, and that's going to be helpful with this many debts. If you had this within three debts, the interest rates were, you know, high, mid, low. I would do high interest then mid, then low, but we're just going to snowball smallest to largest. So I would attack, you know, the NFM first mm -hmm. and just go from there to the smallest to largest. Actually, the Nebraska would be first. Save yourself the minimum monthly payments. I know it's interest free. Well, okay. I mean, I would throw a little loophole in there. The interest free ones, the Nebraska and the uh, other one, I would minimum monthly payment until those are paid off. And then I would do smallest to largest all the other ones. Okay. Payday loan. This is another thing. We're having a conversation with the brother. Yo. I'm sorry. I know you live in an expensive place. I, I just simply can't afford this right now. Love you. Thank you. You're paying for it. Be an adult. Okay. So I'm taking this from you on a monthly basis no matter what. It just needs to be a thing, and you got to put your foot down on that. This is not a thing. You're going to get your, your mom needs to pay you back immediately for that other one, so those are the high-priority items. Right. So you start minimum monthly payment. You, you, you minimum monthly payment on everything. Uh, smallest to largest on the debts, except for the ones that are interest-free. You're doing what is necessary to pay this off before interest is accruing. You're getting a two-month emergency fund. You are telling your brother that the payday loan is being taken care of, that he is going to pay you that two fifty seven on a monthly basis. More than that, if he wants to save on interest, but he's paying for it now. Um, but the risk is still in your book. That's what I hate. And um, your mom needs to get her brother sell that house, and it might not be the best market right now. I don't know. It's more of a buyer's market, um, even though the interest rates are I mean, Texas has had a rough go for selling in general this year. Um, but she needs to pay whatever she owes you back, whatever one that was. Was that the, was that the Nebraska one? That was the Nebraska yeah, one. Yeah, that's so, one of the Nebraska yeah. ones. So however, get that money. And I wouldn't even put that money towards it. I'd put it towards whatever the smallest one still is at that time and just still interest-free that one right. until it's done. Well, that's what I would do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a long time. Okay, let me throw another thing in. When they inevitably move out, um, try to see if they can all move out around the same time. So there's not much, you know, like one moves out and then we're sitting for six months, like waiting for the other person, like, you got to go. Once they all move out, we're going to downgrade you. Yeah. We're going to downgrade. Yeah, I'm, I'm, in a, I'm in a four bedroom house. So exactly. It's, it's, mm, it's too big. If we can get you like 1500 bucks a month, I mean, that still slows down your progress yeah. because it takes you from like 850 or whatever that you're actually putting towards rent and almost doubling it. So that's still going to slow down the progress. My best guess is it's going to take about, with all those things included, from now paying off all the debt to an emergency fund, six months, four to five years. Okay. Is my guess. Sucks? Sure. No one likes to hear that. But... It doesn't matter because it's uh, this is already where it is. It's already where it is. I don't, I don't want you to go through bankruptcy or anything like that. I don't think that's necessarily a, a thing you have to do right now. Um, I know it's another interruption, but you can get $5,000 by listening to the end of this. Right now, if you transfer your portfolio to Moomoo, which I personally use for my individual stock picks, you can get up to $5,000. It's literally free money and an amazing investment platform, and it's what I personally use. So check it out in the description below. I highly recommend it. I think you can buckle down take care of this, make more money, by the way, through the raises and grind those commissions. Yeah. Work as much overtime as you can. Drop it down to three to four years. That's awesome. Cool. We're approaching 50-51 at that time. You have a decade to contribute like 35% a month, maybe even 40% if you can to retirement, and we can still get you to a, you know, a solid 
comfortable retirement. You might be working towards you know up to upper sixties, maybe seventy, but you're going to be pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, stacking up that cash and trying to take advantage of some kind of compound. You're going to talk to a financial advisor and figure out your risk profile, where you sit. If this is going into a more conservative, balanced, more aggressive portfolio, you're going to figure that out. Uh, you and your financial advisor will figure that out, but I need you to get this money going. But in order to do that, we need to beat down the 35% interest first. Right. So that's what the next four to five or three to four years look like, however you decide to do it. Okay. What do you think? I just gave you a huge <laughs> thing. <laughs> you did. You did. Yeah. I'm I'm good with it. I need It needs to be gone. I don't want to go into retirement with um with debt. So it, it's... um. It's like um, getting like heavy, so because I'm get, I know I'm getting close, so yeah. It needs to it needs to go. Life is fu- life is bright on the other side. The other side of the tunnel is bright. It is. It requires sacrifice to get there. Yeah. So I really see three options. I see one correct option, but I see three options. Well, we just talked about getting out of it, setting yourself up for a comfortable retirement. Two, declaring bankruptcy. Don't want that option. Three, probably just never retiring. To be completely honest. Those are the options that I see. I choose option number one. Sacrifice now. Yes. Work our... No more cruises. Temporarily. Okay. Friends can pay for that if they want to. Dude, if they want to gift it to you, go for it. Don't ask, but if they want to gift it, let them know your situation. Let everyone around you that you're really close to know your situation. Really? Send them this video. They'll know your situation. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, my God. You can get out of this. Just work hard, please, for the sake of your life, for the sake of your future. It's so important. And I would start putting our foot down on just some of the kids' things as well. Uh, Educate them a little. Educate them a little. I'm happy to put them through the budgeting program as well if you want to send us their emails. If they want to take advantage of that, they can figure that out. Get a six-month emergency fund, and then they can move out, and they shouldn't ever have to move back in again because they'll have a six-month emergency fund, and they'll be good. Mm Mm-hmm. They'll never have to rely on you. But I think we need to start putting our foot down on mom, on kids, on brother. You're nice. You have a big heart. Don't let anyone take advantage of it. Okay. I think that's my problem. So I just hate telling people no, especially yeah. family. So it's, yeah. it's hard. It's really, really hard. So. It is. No, it's incredibly difficult. But you matter. Your future matters. Thank you. It's, you make sure you're telling yourself that. You make sure taking care of yourself isn't, isn't not taking care of others. It's not putting yourself in front of other people. The being selfish is like, okay, like, what? The five French fries in front of you, you take it all. Like, you didn't need that to survive. You need to do this to survive. It's not selfish taking care of this, you know? So, any final thoughts? Any final questions? No, I'm good. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate you going through it, writing it down, because I would never do it. And I'm, th- I'm thinking I'm in a better place than what I am. And I'm not. So it's a very eye-opening experience. So That's why we do what we do. <laughs> and now we show you there's a way out of it, and we're going to put you through the program and make sure you get there. Okay. I appreciate it. Hammer Financial Score. Well, obviously that budget was completely blown to smithereens, so that was just disgusting and terrible and like, gah, gah, gah. The debt, same thing. IRS debt, come on. Zero out of ten. Uh, IRS debt, a media zero. Emergency fund. It's a generous one, one out of ten, because we weren't even a tenth of the way there. We were like a fortieth of the way there. Retirement, average. Average. Doesn't mean great, because average retirement's pretty bad, but I'll give a five out of ten. Real estate, zero out of ten. Was higher at one point, unfortunately sold it. Hopefully we'll get back into it eventually. 0.5 out of 10 Hammer Financial Score for now. Don't forget to check out the resources linked in the description below. They are what I use or would use in specific situations, including the best budgeting program in the history of the internet. All right. Thanks to all of our Patreon producers for making this episode possible. If you want to participate in an episode of Financial Audit and you're able to make it to Austin, Texas, please fill out an application in the survey linked in the description below. You can also send a link to your friends or family who you think might be good to be on the show. If you have any questions, you can email casting at calophammer.com.